Hey guys, and welcome to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Challenge number two, or I should say episode two, whatever. So, this Redstone Challenge was sent in by me. <laughs> yes, this Redstone Challenge was sent in to me, by me, for me, because no one's really sending me red... Since my last Redstone Challenge, I think only three people sent in a Redstone Challenge to me, and they weren't really challenges, they were just pretty much... One guy asked for me to put lamps on two different floors for the ceilings, which is pretty pretty simple. I mean, I, I, that's not really a challenge. And then another guy asked me to make a bud switch out of a wheat farm that lights up to let you know when the wheat grows, which isn't really a challenge either when I showed you all my bud switches the last time. So I can't really make that into a challenge when I've already done something like that already. So today, well, I shouldn't say today because if whenever you watch this video, it will be whatever day for you. So I was on my friend's, I was looking at my friend's YouTube channel because he uploaded a new video. And I always watch my friend's videos. So, and this guy's name is Overlooked Entertainment or Overlooked ENT. I'll have his uh, YouTube channel in the, in the description below. I mean, I don't really talk to the guy, but when I do get the chance, we do talk about Redstone and all that good stuff. So I saw a video on his channel and it was on a drawbridge. Now, when I saw his drawbridge, I got kind of a little upset on that because it's really bulky. But he's not really into, it doesn't seem like he's into too much like more advanced redstone. He does a lot of cool survival redstone and it's really interesting. And I've always wanted to start doing the survival redstone as uh, survival tutorials as well. But whenever I think about doing survival redstone tutorials, I always think that I'm going to end up just making stuff that looks exactly like his. Because there's not really many different ways for you to change that stuff up. So, I saw his drawbridge, and I was like, wow, that's really cool, because, like, in my mind, I was like, wow, I can't believe I've never even thought about making a drawbridge before. So, I was like, well, one, I bet I can make this drawbridge. Two, I bet I can make it more compact, and three, I bet I can make it look better. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, bash on you, Overlooked, but, I mean, I just, I just had to do it today. I had to try and get this thing done. So, this is what I came up with right here. Now, there's only one, two downsides to this is, uh... You can see these redstone torches, which I don't like. And I mean, I could have hid these pistons, but then I'd have to make a triple piston extender. And I didn't feel like doing that, because if I made a triple piston extender, then the thing would have been humongous, and I don't want to do that. So, that that's one, the one downside. And then the other downside is when you build this uh, towards the south, well, I mean, actually towards the west, this right here is the only one that's different. Every other uh, section right here, this one right here, building it north to east, they're all the same except for this one section. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's actually just see what this thing does already because we're already two minutes into this video and I haven't even showed you what it does. So I click this level right here. It unfolds with a nice little drawbridge. You can go across. Well, actually, you'd want the drawbridge open so you come into your castle and then you go, ha ha, no, get out of here. You're not allowed over here. No, I want to be over here. But yeah, so that's a nice little drawbridge. That's all it does. It's just, it's just a drawbridge. Just a simple drawbridge. And of course, I have it opened up over here, going facing a different direction just to show that it works both ways. So if I click this, and then I click it again, it's just a nice drawbridge. Very simple, actually. I compacted it pretty well. Now, the whole way I got this idea is... Um, I'm not sure. I don't remember who built this vertical uh, double piston extender that switches the block out. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was CNB or Mumbo. But I just remember it from a long time ago. So I pretty much took this idea and I flipped it and I turned it on its side. Now, you might think, oh, well, that was easy. Nah, nah, nah. It wasn't easy. Because one thing is this is only one set right here. This is what they use in like 3x3s and stuff like that. So this is only one. So I had to make this two. And then also, like, you can kind of see the feeling of it if you look at it from this side. You see these two pistons and these two pistons? If you look at it from the top, you can kind of see the outline of it here. The two pistons and these pistons. Now, first I had to make, make it so uh, there was no redstone on this side for this one because I needed two next to each other. And then the whole thing is, like, everything. Pretty much everything. The uh, All the circuits and all that crap had to be turned over on the side. Which is not an easy task since I need to keep... I had to keep it... Uh, kind of seamless to the floor so I could put some half slabs over it so you can't see any of the redstone so that got a little annoying as well but I did it I got it to work and you can make it uh there's no walls you can make it completely open up and everything you could see you could well you, I guess you could see it <laughs> I'm showing it to you right now so of course you could see it but yeah guys I mean it's not that bad and now with my redstone challenge one when you guys uh asked for the tutorial on the minecart 
storage system. Like I, I told a few guys, it's just too unstable. It's well, it's not. The whole point of it being unstable is like if you even touch the minecarts that are in the back, in the back storage area, that, like how the minecarts stack on top of each other. If you even touch one in the slightest way, then you got to remove every single minecart and put them all back in because then they start pushing each other out, and it just gets annoying. Now this redstone challenge, if you guys want a tutorial on this one. I don't mind doing it i will do a tutorial on the drawbridge it's all up to you guys it's very simple to make it's but like i mean of course some people are gonna be like oh it's not working but it does work as you can see it right now it works fine <laughs> everything works fine but i don't mind making a tutorial on this on that storage system uh, it's it's iffy i if i do make a tutorial on the storage system i don't want to hear too much complaining i don't want to hear oh my mine carts two are coming out at the same time three are coming out at the same time like i said it's very unstable if i decide to do that storage system you're just gonna have to deal with it if you build it <laughs> but yeah guys here's my uh nice drawbridge i just wanted to show you guys in this redstone challenge that was sent in by me well i really didn't send anything and i kind of just did it but yeah guys here's my drawbridge i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace